How can we visually see why the geometric mean of two numbers, a and b, is the square root of a times b? Let's find out. Let's first talk about the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean says, well, if I want to keep the same sum, what do these numbers have to be if they have to be the same number? So it makes sense to add up all the numbers and divide by the total number of data points to get the arithmetic mean. Now, for the geometric mean, this is saying the product of these numbers is great. Let's keep it. What do these numbers have to be if they all have to be the same number? So if we're looking for the geometric mean of two numbers, we can think about a rectangle. So say that we're looking for the geometric mean of 9 and 16. 9 times 16 is 144. So let's keep this product, or this area. But we want to make this into a square. So what positive number times itself equals 144? 12. So the geometric mean of 9 and 16 is 12. So if we're calculating the geometric mean of two numbers, we keep the product or the area, but we need to morph it into a square and then calculate the side length of the square. And by the way, side note, I didn't realize until around three years ago that square root literally means what's the side length of the square. So if you're in high school and you already know that, you're already way ahead of me. And we can visualize this for three numbers. We have the volume of a rectangular prism and we want to make it into a cube. So we take the cube root to find the side length of that cube. And we can keep going with this. Now remember, for geometric mean, we want to keep the product, but make sure that all of the numbers are the same. And this will do that. For two numbers, we can think about turning a rectangle into a square. And for three numbers, we can think about turning a rectangular prism into a cube and then finding the side length. 